Time now for your forewarned weather with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy. All right, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy with our full forecast, including Father's Day weekend. Hey, Alana. Hi, Courtney. It's upon us, and we've had drier conditions along the Wasatch Front, but the storm's holding on in the south. This is what Lake Powell looked like at Wawit Marina just after 4. Those bur boats were scurrying up the ramp as a storm came through with heavy rain and some lightning embedded in there. Southern Utah has held on to the moisture, and we still have storms out there. In the last few hours, we've watched as those storms migrated into south-central Utah over the mountains, and they're tracking northeast. The Four Corners area near Blanding also had some storms pulling through and then Cedar City and St. George in that same arena. Healthy and impressive precipitation totals in the last 24 hours, just under an inch at Bryan Head. Southern Utah getting good numbers here, over half an inch for the Pine Valley Mountains. Cedar City in that arena, four tenths in Richfield, so the I-70 and I-15 corridor doing well, and three tenths in Kanab. Evanston, just shy of half an inch, three tenths at the Jordan Landfill. Tooele, Paraguna, and Salt Lake International all getting measurable moisture with hit or miss storms. It's been a progressive pattern, but it's about to change. Yeah, we've got big changes as we head into next week. Live view of Salt Lake City, our ABC4 camera just makes me fall in love with Salt Lake over and over again. Great camera. A few clouds out there, and it is on the cooler side, but it's a really beautiful day if you can get out and enjoy the evening. 77 right now in the capital city. 76 in Wendover, 60s in Vernal, mid-70s in Moab. So these are areas where we've seen storms. They're cooler than Salt Lake. 80 in St. George mid-60s in Cedar City. So running below average today along the Wasatch Front. We'll be getting mostly clear skies heading into tonight. And those temperatures dropping into the 60s. Calm conditions with the sun going down at 9.01. We're running below seasonal norms, but a warming trend is about to start, and it's due to high pressure. we got to get these storms out of here as that high pressure sets up. As we head into 11 p.m., the Uinta Basin and the eastern side of the state stay unsettled, and the chance of showers holds on. But look at the drier conditions for the West Desert, Wasatch Front, and even to the southwest corner of the state. High pressure takes over. We'll see some clouds for our Saturday, but a nice day on deck. As we head into Sunday, our southwesterly winds pick up and a slight chance of moisture starts to roll through in the morning. Areas north of I-80 have the chance of seeing a shower, and it's because of a system that's further north of us. Now, it could graze the state, but it's going to keep us unsettled. We will see temperatures fluctuate, but those southwesterly winds, they're going to be cranking. West Desert will be windy. Salt Lake will also see gusty conditions for Father's Day. Blowing dust over in the West Desert is possible. Regional forecast showing you the 70s and 80s for those highs tomorrow. So here comes that warming trend. 40s and 50s for the overnight. A cool start to your Saturday, but it should be a pleasant one. 68 for the high in Park City. 70s in Tooele, Ogden in the upper 70s. Rolling into central Utah. We'll see partly sunny skies. 70s in places like Fillmore. 80s towards Green River. So the eastern side of the state will push that moisture out of here and warm things up. Southern Utah has a buffet of temperatures. What do you like? 60s, 70s, 80s? How about the 90s in St. George? Because we have it all. Looking at the next seven days, the St. George forecast brings in windy conditions by Father's Day. That is going to be the headline in the southwest desert. Temperatures actually cool with those gusty winds, but there'll be plenty of sun. Father's Day weekend, looking nice. Here are your plans if you're going to be out and about throughout the Beehive State. Happy Father's Day to everyone. Wasatch Front showing 80s. And then with the winds cranking on Sunday, I think 90s not out of the question. I'm going for it. High pressure. But then it starts to break down. Slight chance on Monday and then showers Tuesday morning. We have to see what happens with the storm system to the north of us. If it digs far enough south, that will up the precip chances. If it doesn't, we stay pretty dry and then temperatures kind of jostle a little bit. Yeah, it looks like